meeting to order. This is meeting to report the ADA commissioners. It's Monday, December 28, 2009, at 7 p.m. Jackson County Bank Loan. 
Uh, we've gone through uh, uh, our attorney and John, um, John Julian, the Lombard, and we've come up with the, uh, the loan to Jackson County Bank is for nine thousand or nine hundred ninety-four thousand dollars. <coughs> at a rate of 2.4%, which is approximately uh, 1% less than what it was before, three-year loan, and we'll be required to pay approximately $40,000 every six months, along with interest for the next three years, uh, unless we go ahead and pay it off. So I decided to tell you that, we'll present it in the mayor for his approval. Julian, to negotiate that rate? Yes. <coughs> Skydive. I'm just out on the uh, November meeting. I was out of town. Um, and I wanted to uh, respond to the uh, uh, airport issue. I know nobody else wants to hear about it. Sick of it. <laughs> but when I read the responses of both sides, um, the response that um, the airport board got was, was pretty much right on, and that especially said um, the question was where will Skydive Greensburg be located? Will parachutes continue to land at the airport with additional air traffic? <coughs> and like your response was, was pretty much right on. What um, the FAR or what the FAA would, would uh, say. On the other side, um, the opposition response to it. Um, they consulted Danny Graves, who used to be uh, an airport board member, just like myself. I don't know what purpose they went going to Dan, as opposed to going to the FAA. I did take the time to print out the, uh, the FAA's response. It's quite lengthy. I'm not going to read it, but um, uh, Dan chose not to go and, and answer the question based on FAA regulations. He chose to discuss commercial airports, which has absolutely nothing to do with Scott of Greensburg or the Greensburg Municipal Airport as far as I know. I don't think we're going to qualify the next millennium as a commercial airport. Uh, it goes on to say that, uh, that most airports that have any commercial traffic of any type, be it business, private, or pure commercial operations, will usually prohibit skydiving for recreation within a certain distance of such facilities. Again, totally untrue. There's, I think, 37 operations currently existing on commercial airports in the U.S. Uh, that we've not been able to identify. Um, and according to um, uh, USDA, there are probably more. Uh, that's the number that grows each year. So, uh, I guess I, I just want to go on record because it certainly gives the indication that, for number one, I guess the Green Park is going to become a commercial airport that expands, which is not true. And if it did expand, it wouldn't be allowed to jump. So, uh, unless I'm just, am I accurate as far as my interpretation? I mean, it, for us to have commercial air traffic here, I, I don't see Delta landing here anytime in the near future. So, let's say, yeah, you're, you're referring to the Green for Data News, the responses to the questions they posed to the board. On November 17th. Yeah, okay. Right. Like I said, it, it, uh, it just bothers me that this one can be so far off. I'm really surprised there's just one question related to skydiving, but um, there's absolutely nothing right about the response. It bothers me that this one's that off. How many others? They just wing it off. And I think is there going to be an opportunity to, is there going to be a subsequent uh, issue coming out? Resolve all the differences, or is this the end of it? No, I don't think so. I don't think they have plans. I mean, that's not the green for cable news. I don't think they have plans to. Uh, they, they had that against several articles that they had that article after that again, about the, uh, the report in Indianapolis. So, uh, now come from your report. Yeah. And they came out and supported the expansion in another, in another uh, article after that. And, uh, yeah, there, there were certainly, what is there, some 25 questions, and there's certainly some discrepancies between our answers and 
their answers. The only thing I can talk to you is about our answers.